What's up, everybody? Matt Burns here, owner and founder of iHarp Homes. Back on the office couch for another episode of Couch Conversations. This is part four of our buyer series. Uh, today's video is on accepted offers and home inspections. Um, and, you know, just a note, before we get started today, I just wanted to say, if you're having trouble getting an accepted offer, um, you know, if you've been up to bat on a few homes and you're striking out every time, there's a reason why. And you may have to take a look at whatever your game plan is, uh, see where you can adjust uh, little things to set yourself up for uh, a win. So definitely talk to your agent. Communication is key. Uh, I can't stress that enough. Um, but if you have made it this far, Congrats, because that's a huge win. Um, you know, do a short victory dance, but don't get too excited because, you know, there's still a lot of work to be done. Uh, you're really not out of the woods and safe and sound just yet. Um, so just know if the sellers and you haven't signed a contract, nothing is binding. So technically someone else can come in and steal the cheese or pull the rug out right from under you. And I've seen it happen. Uh, it's really sad when it does. So you'll want to move forward quickly uh, while also protecting yourself. Um, and when a buyer client of mine gets an accepted offer, we want to get a home inspector into that house within 24 to 48 hours uh, so that they can look under the hood and really give the house the closest thing to a colonoscopy as possible. Um, a good inspector is going to check everything in the house and really give you an owner's manual in the form of a report that'll detail all of their findings. And the best pros will probably set you back about five or 600 bucks in today's market. Honestly, well worth it. Um, it could end up saving you thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars. Sadly, in today's post COVID market in New York City and Long Island, I've, I've heard stories of buyers waiving an inspection to try and make their offer more appealing in the eyes of the seller, I guess. Um, in my opinion, that is a tragic mistake. Um, I would really shame another realtor for going along with such an unsafe practice. Um, but you know, I can only really hope that it doesn't come back to bite those buyers in the ass or, or worse, end up being something much more tragic if an unsafe condition wasn't found or addressed before or after they close. Uh, but once the inspection report comes back, really, you're looking for three things. Is the house safe? Uh, is it leak free? And are all major systems working? If before your offer was made, the seller disclosed to you that the dishwasher in the basement wasn't working, and then your inspector comes back and confirms that, it's not time to renegotiate or ask for a credit on that because you know, it's assumed that you took that into consideration with your offer if they're upfront about it. Uh, but let's say during your inspection, you find out that the roof has a small leak that was something that wasn't disclosed to you prior to your offer being made. Now we have something to talk about. And really, this is where your agent needs to step in, throw on the negotiator hat, uh, and get you a house that is safe, leak-free, and all systems working. Uh, at the end of the day, you want to move forward in good faith and good judgment. Um, so if there are any major red flags and, and you're second guessing the house now, talk to your agent. Uh, worst case, you've spent $600 to avoid a major financial headache and uh, you go back to seeing other homes. It is what it is. Uh, or even maybe something can be resolved through agent to agent talks. Uh, but if everything looks good or everything that was an issue has been resolved through negotiating. Now it's time to get the attorneys involved. Uh, and I think this is a good time to stop this episode because this is where things get serious and uh, you know things are legally binding. So we'll pick back up on that on the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please post them or just give me a call or text me. I'm happy to talk more. Uh, make it a great day, everyone. I'll talk to you next time on the next episode, all right?